Shalom, Akum, giving no praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Al Shah, Bashim, Akaku, Dash, double honesty, the apostles, others, a great millstone. Salutations to you, sister Akim, out there, the hopeful elect, right? Yeah, man, this video is going to be about reparations, man. How will reparations be paid, all right? You know, because over the you know, past few years, uh, there's been a lot of murmuring about reparations. Is the government going to cut you a check? You know, what are you niggas going to do with a check if the government does cut you a check? We know the answer to that. Basically, you're going to give it right back to the government. You know, you know, Jake is all messed up, man. Scriptures tell you our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So you, you see what happened when, when, uh, when Trump gave everybody that stimulus money. What did niggas do with that? You know, they went out and bought shit that they never had before. All right? Niggas bought clothes. Niggas bought all kind of, you know, all kind of worldly bullshit to try to floss on each other or to look of some significance that is important. Try to look like their favorite celebrities and what have you rock the same name brand shit that they used to see in uh, their idols wear. Okay? You know, and that don't do nothing but put money right back into the uh, big corporations, whether it be the fashion world, whether it be, you know, buying these, uh, you know, cars and shit that's from car companies that you niggas do not own. All right, or manufacture, okay? Niggas bought drugs. They did all kind of bullshit, man. You know? Or food or whatever main things that you needed to maintain life. So it's not going to be any different if the government was to cut you a reparation check. And that's why the government ain't going to cut you niggas a reparation check. The most high is not going to allow it, you know? Because really, there's no payback as far as monetarily uh, what the so-called white man can do to you know make everything right in slave in slavery enslaving our ancestors you know that has to be paid back in blood and that's all throughout the scriptures and that's what we're going to get into through the spirit of yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right you know whether you, you you niggas who suffer from stockholm syndrome who love your oppressors uh disagree with the scriptures well guess what in the kingdom you're just gonna have to get right man you know you're gonna have to burn up on this side in the thermonuclear war, you know, so your spirit can be be, be uh, fully cleansed, and you come back reincarnated in the kingdom of heaven when it's all established. When so-called Negro Latinos and North American Indians who make up the twelve tribes are ruling the world right along with our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shah, then you're going to be enslaving those who oppress you, because that's all throughout the scriptures, man. Because you niggas can't seem to uh, grasp that at the present moment, okay? But um. Yeah, let me just bring out some scriptures, man. You know, I mean, this this, this could be a long lesson, but I ain't going to make it real long. I got only a few scriptures lined up just to prove my point, you know. But this, but slavery and, you know, and eye for an eye and, you know, you know keeping it the even balance and everything is certainly in the scriptures, all throughout the scriptures, all right? But your pastors and, you know, people who are supposed to be uh, theological or cut from the claw for the most high, they don't seem to go into these scriptures, man. You know, they teach lies and fallacies about God is all love, you know, and then everybody's going to be an equal in the kingdom of heaven. And it's just going to be straight up peace. All right. Well, it's going to be peace for the nation of Israel, of course. But anybody who's outside of Israel is going to suffer slavery, man. You know, and you're going to suffer gravely. All right. So let me go right into the scriptures. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. It reads, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. All right? So the so-called white man, you know, he polluted, he polluted the whole, the whole land with blood, with the blood of Native Americans, with the blood of the so-called Negroes that he stole you know, from the whether it be from the west coast of Africa or different parts of Europe, and shipped to the Americas, and you know, forced labor upon us and tortured us throughout the process. You know, he shed innocent blood and polluted the land. That's one of the reasons why America is cursed. You know, all of that Trump campaigning about you know make America great again. America will never reach its full potential of being great, as far as you know what the so-called white man considers great. Meaning what? When they was on top and, you know, 
that that night that 1950s decade you know that fonzie happy days era all right it ain't gonna never go back to that everything is downhill from now on man for america because this land is polluted because somebody has to pay for what they've done to the lord's people the israelites the so-called negroes you look at the book without sanctuary all right which i do have by the way you know it's a black book with you know there's, there's uh very very vivid photographs of so-called negroes being lynched all post slavery era all right and nobody paid for it man nobody paid for it all right so somebody has to pay for that man all right if you believe in god and god is righteous then you know that the most high is going to make the perpetrators pay for what they've done to the so-called negroes and the latinos here on this side of the world man who make up the 12 tribes of Israel, which is God's people. So I'm going to read that again. Numbers 35 and 33. So you shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. America is polluted. The so-called white man polluted America. For blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. And it's talking about innocent blood, you know, because we, we didn't do anything uh, deserving to be killed by the so-called white man. In other words, the so-called white man wasn't justified in killing our people. Now, we violated the laws of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. So, you know, if you, if you want to go deeper, of course, the Most High is the one who put the so-called white man on us to punish us. All right. He, had a, he allowed the so-called white man to enslave us. He allowed the so-called white man to steal this land from the Native Americans, which is our brothers. All right. And, uh, and our women raped, families broken. Okay, uh, mass lynchings and, 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 and murders and bigotry, it, you know, it, it, all, all, all kind of foul shit. The curses, basically. The Most High cursed us for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. That's why, you know, the so called white man got that upper hand over us. But the so called white man wasn't justified in doing it. Okay, so that's innocent blood that defiled the land. All right. And the land ain't going to never be cleansed. That's why America is basically a shithole. It's becoming a third world country. All right. It says the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So the so-called white man, his blood is going to have to be shed and it will be shed throughout America. You know, in these up and coming times that we're living in, you know, wherein society is basically crumbling and falling apart. All right. When it's anarchy out here in these streets meaning straight up lawlessness all right no uh no no such thing of a hierarchy you know wherein the government is going to be you know government rules and the judicial system all of that is going to be totally ignored because people are going to start taking the law into their own hands that's when these major race wars is going to take place and the so-called blacks latinos and north american indians will finally get vengeance on the so-called white man who oppressed us all right uh, and uh, some of you white people might say, well, you know, that was my ancestors. I didn't have anything to do with that. Well, the Lord got your number. All right. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Because like I said, you know, the, all, the, all of those so-called black men that were lynched and strung on trees, they never got vengeance, man. They did, now, did they die in vain? Hell no. All right. They did not die in vain because they're God's people. All right. So somebody got to pay for what for what the so-called white man's ancestors did to the so-called black man's ancestors, all right? So all of that, I wasn't there, you know, 100 years ago, 150 years ago, 200 years ago, 300 years ago, you know, that was my ancestors that did it. So what, we supposed to just sweep everything under the rug from now on? No, somebody has to pay for that, and somebody will pay for that, right? You so-called white people that's around today who are the offspring of the slavers and slave catchers and oppressors, all right, of the nation of Israel. This is the book of Isaiah 14, verse 21. It reads, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Now, does that, that, now that sounds like a harsh scripture, man. Prepare slaughter for his children, okay? Is the most high all about killing little kids and innocent babies? You might think that they're innocent, all right? Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, meaning for the sins 
all right, of their fathers. Okay, now you might say, wait a minute, man. This is why people say the Bible contradicts itself and this, that, and third. You know, because it, you know, the scriptures are telling you that the children are not going to pay for the sins of the fathers. All right. But a lot of people don't understand the concept of reincarnation and that it is in the Bible. Okay. So when the Lord said, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, he's talking about the, the, the children of the so-called white man who oppressed the nation of Israel coming back reincarnated through their children. Okay. I mean, the, well, the fathers coming back reincarnated because they are they they are their fathers coming back reincarnated from you know those hundreds of years ago 200 years ago whatever okay they're back here today a lot of them classify themselves as liberals a lot of them uh marched with the abolishment of slavery movement a lot of them marched dur during the civil rights movement you know they tell you they you know i marched with dr martin luther king for the civil rights of black people in America, all right? So, you know, it, it seems like you know, these these Edomites got a big change of heart when it comes to uh, uh, the, the, the oppression of so-called black people, all right? But, you know, it wasn't the same. It wasn't, it wasn't as such 200 plus years ago, all right? When they was all for the lynching of black people, they was all in support of slavery, okay? And you know they in 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 you know uh you no know, the Jim Crow era and this that and the third, you know? Belittling our people, treating our people like second class citizens, and hell, they still do that to this day. You know, there's undertones of slavery, of of uh of no racism still today in America and slavery. So I said it right, and slavery, you know. So, you know, it's it's very much still there, man. Because the scriptures tell you that the Lord, he, he, uh, he, he put a difference between Jacob and Esau. There's a great gulf fixed between us. You know, we will never come together in peace and harmony, man. We're too different. You know, the nation of Edom, which is the so-called white man, they're the wicked, according to the Bible. And the nation of Israel, the sons of Jacob, are the righteous. So we can never come together in harmony, you know. Well, I'm going to read that again. It says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. All right. So you are your fathers coming back reincarnated. And you might have got away with all of that murder and the mass lynches and enslaving black people back in the past life. But you're going to have to pay for it today. All right. You know, I don't care if you're a left winger, all about democracy and, you know, and, you know, and the support of affirmative action and welfare for poor unfortunate Israelites, you're going to have to pay for what you've done in the past. It says that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. All right. Yeah, that's right, man. So, you know, when Yahweh Shah comes back and uplifts his people and set up the kingdom, establishes a kingdom for us, we're going to enslave the nation of Edom and the rest of these other nations, but namely Edom, because that's our arch enemy, you know, going back to the birth of Jacob and Esau. And we're going to oppress them and keep them suppressed that they don't ever rise up again. So there's not going to be any Edomite revolutions and things like that in the kingdom of heaven. You know, because you got a lot of Edomites, these devils, they confused talking about, yeah, you know, we're going to go into slavery. And then, you know, then eventually we'll rise up and enslave the black man again. And then the black man will rise back up and enslave the white man again. Like this is just an ongoing cycle, you know, revolving doors of, of slavery, man. You know, in, in slavers. Okay, now nah, it don't work. It's not going to work like that. Scriptures tell you that. It says, For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon, right? Which Babylon is America. It says, The name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord. Okay, so the Lord says He's going to cut off, He's, he's going to certainly cut off the whole Edomite line. All right. You notice he said son and nephew, talking about males, men, you know, because the seed is carried is carried through the man. All right. So once you cut off all of the men of a nation, that's the end of that nation. That nation becomes extinct. You know, when you read the book of Obadiah, first chapter in the 18th verse, it uh it 
correlates to Isaiah 14 and 22, you know, because we're going to gather you Edomites up and we're going to burn you with fire to your death. All right. This is the book of Second Thessalonians, chapter one, verse six. It says, seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. All right. Yeah, man. You want that uh, that reparations check? OK, well, it got, it's got to be signed in blood in the blood of the so-called white man. All right. That's why the Lord says, seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And who troubles us? The so-called white man. All right. The nation of Edom. You know, like I said, there's still racist undertones uh, here in America, even with these liberal crackers, man. You know, you know, you got these Karens out there you know, that, that they'll sit there and call the cops on a black man with you no know, with the because they they know that uh you know, they, they know the history of that white damsel in distress. You know, and then the, then, the, then the cops will come to the rescue and kill the so-called black man, you know. So they, they, you know, they got that in their subconscious when they call the police on you jakes. I'm talking about them Karens, them so-called white women, all right. You know, I'll call the police and you know, they call the cops. And next thing you know, the niggas getting tased, the niggas getting beat up. Or even worse, the niggas getting shot and killed. That's the, that's the intention of why these white women call the cops on a black man. So it's basically murder. It's like it's, it's like when the cops are murder a nigga, the white woman who called the police, she's a co-conspirator to the murder. That's what her intention was, you know, to get that man jacked up, locked up, or even worse, murdered. All right. That's why the Lord says, seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. You know, so the white man troubles us, the white woman troubles us, you know, and they little white brat ass kids are troublesome unto us, you know. It says, "Into you who are troubled, rest with us." That's right. You know, if you feeling, if you feel what the Most High is saying, then come rest with the prophets and the servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, because that's who's going to be delivered. That's who the Lord is going to save when all hell breaks loose in the society and America is destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Okay, because that's how America is going out, as prophesied all throughout the scriptures. It says, "When the Lord Yahweh Shah shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels." Okay, because that's the deliverance. Yahweh Shah is coming on them chariots that the so-called white man calls UFOs or UAPs. They, you know, they come with the new speak. All right, but in those chariots to deliver Israel, you know. So the Lord's saying, "Rest with us. Let the Lord be your rest." Okay. Uh, whatever scripture I had lined up. This is the book of Exodus, chapter twenty-one, verse sixteen. It says, "He that still up a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death." All right. And we all know the history of the so-called black man being shipped over here across the Atlantic Ocean to the Americas and sold off on auctioning blocks uh, to work the plantations, work the cotton field, tobacco field and this, that and third to, you know, uh, to, 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 to build up the infrastructure and the, the economy of America. All of the major banks, you know, Wells Fargo. J.P. Morgan Chase, all them banks were established by the so-called black man being in slavery here in America. All right. That's why the Lord said, and he that still if a man and selleth them, or if he be found in his hand, which so-called black man is still here in America. You know, every now and then you might hear a so-called white man say some bullshit, hey, nigga, go back to Africa. But that's not what they really want. You know, we make this society run off of our labor. All right. And we're still found here. We came here against our will, you know. It says he shall surely be put to death. So the so-called white man has to be put to death for that. The nation of Edom. And they will be put to death. That's the judgment, man. That's reparations right there, man. Okay? All right? So like I said, man, you niggas who can't get with the program, and guess what? The most I was going to destroy you on this side, man. But you'll come back right in the kingdom. And you probably put more pain and more hell on these so-called white people than the elect who actually made it. All right? So, you know, I'm going to end this video on that note, man. 20 minutes in, you know, wanted to make this shorter than that, but you get my drift. So look forward to reparations. <laughs> okay. You know, so-called white man, you got like niggas like vocab Malone. He don't want this to be true, you know, but he knows subconsciously, he knows that, you know, what we saying is right. You know, that the so-called black man does deserve to, 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 to put the so-called white man in slavery and captivity and kill him off, man. 
because of what they did to our ancestors. You know, that's something you can't just forget about. All right. You look at the book without sanctuary and look at all them, them, them jakes, them so-called black men. Right. That were uh, that were lynched. For, you know, with, 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 they were lynched for an unjust cause, man. You know, basically brutalized, man. You know, and um, and, and, and they were unjustly murdered, and they never, no, nobody ever paid for it, man. You know, you gotta, you know, you have a Jake that's strung up on a tree, all right, because some Karen, a Karen back then from the 1800s, all right, 1800s, early 1900s, okay, might have accused him of rape, might have said he whistled at her. You know, or, or you know, made a made a comment towards her, you know, and wound up having a whole damn town uh, beat him up and fucking lynch him, man. And then you got a whole bunch, the whole damn town to come and, and be right there in the photo, smiling and cheesing, all right, and uh, and selling that picture as postcards to their loved ones in different parts of the country. You know, who's gonna pay for that? Somebody has to pay for that shit, man. All right. So, like I said, you got clowns like Vocab Malone. You got these other crackers that don't want to fucking own up to what their ancestors did to our people, you know. But they know in their heart that you know that 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 that, that we're right. That the scriptures they know what the scriptures say, you know. Vocab pretty he's pretty familiar with the Bible, all right. But they don't want to accept it, and I can't blame them for not wanting to accept it because they're on the losing end of this thing, man. You know, nobody wants to accept the loss. But that's the way the ball bounces, man. Okay, and there's no getting around it. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can say. You can't. There's nothing you can't pray. You could pray, like like Pastor Hart said. You could pray a million times a day. The Most High is not going to hear your prayers on that, man. All right, you just got to fucking pay for what your forefathers did. Plain and simple. So I'm gonna end this on that note. Say Shalom, while we're rocking to you, brothers. Hopefully this was an edifying lesson. I'll be I'll see you in the next one. Shalom.